About three years ago, I walked into Manchester Community College. I was a business owner. I had a cleaning business, but I wanted to change my life. So I walked in and somebody in the library told me, um, well, Peter is here in cybersecurity. Why don't you go see him? I did not expect anything, of course. All I wanted to do is maybe take one certification. I did finish my computer science degree. In the process, I did start to tutor. Um, so it intrigued me even more into the cybersecurity aspect of it. And now I'm completing my cybersecurity degree. And he showed me all of this uh, um, inspirational designs they have in their lab. And just seeing him being so inspired and pumped and enthusiastic about this, I was like, hmm, I'll give it a, I'll give it a try. So instead of signing up for one course, I signed up for three the first semester, and then four, and then I went full time. And um, I graduated last spring, um, summa cum laude, with the President's Award. We start our program from the ground up. We assume that you don't know anything. We need to teach you how the computer works and how the networks work so you know how to get around, you know how people can hide things, uh, you know what they're after and, and you know, those types of things. So we start there at the ground up. Coming out of, our pro of that program, there's a, any series of jobs that you can get from uh, IT administrators to security people in an IT shop to data recovery right up into, uh, into the cyber world. Cybersecurity is really the, the big deal right now. Um, everybody is realizing, hey, we've got literally decades worth of technology out there that's an avenue or a vector for attack. If you're coming into a computer science program right now, you can give yourself a little round of applause because it's just an awesome time to be doing what you're doing and we give you the opportunity to get those external certifications and those ones that I mentioned, um, A+, Network+, Plus, Security+, Plus, or CompTIA certifications. Those are industry standards. They're known worldwide. So once you put those on your resume, you know, that's like putting gold in your pocket. The ability to get students exposure to directly applicable technologies right out of the gates, so they're touching the latest Cisco networking hardware, they're touching the latest Microsoft programming systems, and not having to wait a year or two years to get, get their hands dirty and that kind of stuff, I think makes for a more involved student and a more, and a more prepared graduate. In virtual reality, we're putting a headset on and we're immersing the student in an environment. We have one program that's a virtual reality crime scene. You put on the, on the headset and you are in the crime scene. You're looking around, you can pick up items and catalog them in the crime scene. It honestly offers opportunity. It really depends on what you're looking for because the reason I did it was as a single mom, I needed something that was flexible for my children. I could work from home. Cybersecurity is a, uh, not only, it, not only it's a growing field, but it actually ha opens up a lot of doors because it, it has a demand, not just in the healthcare, in defense, in the medical sphere, in, in almost every industry that you look today at the US economy, it, it's touched by the cybersecurity. I mean, protecting of, national data and personal data. Uh, I've been pretty lucky through my career being in the right place at the right time and you know, moving on into, uh, uh, from computer science and into IT and then uh, into law enforcement doing um, data recovery and, and cyber work there. I think this is my time to give back and make sure that the new set of students coming through have the same opportunities that I had.